everybody welcome back wanted to put together a quick msf video talk a little bit about the silence uh it's been a bit um where are you guys at where i'm at we're gonna talk a little bit about that uh some moon dragon offers seems like a lot at the moment again is that to be uh something we're concerned about hit a couple other topics um rip zeke's uh much love to you uh we'll get to that some as well and is that another sign you know, sometimes they say, what is it? Read, reading the tea leaves or something, or just trying to figure out like what's going on. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Anybody who's new to the channel, check, or the, check out the Discord link in the description below because we're pushing towards 10K subscribers. You can follow along for the content and we're going to be doing a giveaway for that 10,000 subscriber mark. I like to call the 10K giveaway. If you want to enroll, um, enter that giveaway, all you got to do is comment below. Say something nice, say something positive because you don't, you know what? That's just bad karma, frankly. And if you want to help out the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and hammer down that like button. All right, let's get to it. Bring me Wolverthor. All right, so, you know, one of the things that I want to start out with is just basically talking about uh, this ISO stuff, Doom Raids. You know, we know that uh, we can go to certain distances where it starts getting ISO level fives. It's nothing new. Don't really talk about that specifically. But uh, we know that uh, the developers have mentioned that uh, they're working. They recognize some of the errors of their ways. They're going to work on this and let us know what's up. You know, that was four weeks, three weeks. I don't know. It, was a, it feels like ages ago. Uh, and you know, we're just sitting here wondering what's going to happen. You know, I don't know what you guys have been doing in the last month, but you know, I've been hearing of people talk about like, you know, I don't, I, I've just built it up. I don't care anymore. We're back to where the percentages are. And I'm like, so they set back the content, push you back a month and now you're fine. Is that all part of the plan? Just sit and wait, see what, you know, these people are going to keep playing. Let's see how many people quit and see what happens. I don't know. I can't say that's part of the plan, but I'm definitely like, so what's up? I know for me, this is my lane, right? Now I can, we are still getting to here. Um, whenever I get to bio, I am using three symbiotes, Call Obsidian and Captain America because a call I had up at five ISO for arena, Captain America, for whatever reason, I decided to take them to five for dark dimension. Cause I didn't, I didn't think I'd need them for anything. So I was like, sure, the, the ISOs that is. So I randomly have those five. And I can't bring up the other ones because I don't have the ISO, the ions. So where I was used to be hitting this node, skill, I can't do... I I haven't touched this bio boss node since this happened. I barely get to this node down. Um, so for anybody out there who's like, well, we've, you know, we're almost the same spot. I get it. But at the same time, do not forget, this was a goalpost shift. Um, I am not personally going to be okay with that, that I'm back to where I thought it was or we were, etc. Now, some of the discussion is that there, we're potentially going to get, you know, I, I've seen this on Reddit. I've seen this, you know, people talking about this, other creators, uh, where they're like, well, you know, we're going to get some raids without, uh, blue gear in it. Uh, maybe we're going to get, um, I, you know, th but the, none of the restrictions in this one are going to change. So you're going to get some sort version of maybe it's doom first strike. Uh, but no blue. And then maybe we're going to get something in this one that doesn't change at all. And I'm going, okay, so I sat here for a month, got lost progression. I'm not, I mean, in, I either have the choice of doing what I'm doing or go back to an older version where I don't get the gear that I need to actually progress at some point. I, I don't know. I just, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like, okay, like I'm not sure how any of these options are what I'd consider reasonable. Uh, I don't understand, um, you know, how someone could necessarily think that's reasonable, but Hey, you know what? Um, it's a game. I get it. And you know, it's probably some people already think that's a game. Who care? The p reason people care one, because they're passionate, they care about Marvel. And the second one, which I think is more honestly relevant is the money and time people put into things. You don't. You know, when you pay for a service, and I look at this more as a service, I'm paying you to provide me a service. I expect that service, in this case, it's a it's a fun game that should work. I expect it to be right. I don't expect, you know, um, to be feeling bad about what I'm paying for. 
So that's why people care. That's why people are going to be upset, whatever. So, I, you know, look, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be happy with this response. Is it like I'm to the point where I'm starting to get really apathetic? Um, and is I don't know if that's part of the strategy, but I can say that for me personally, I, I, I think that that's not a good long term strategy because um, without that a caring or excitement, it's kind of like when's Marvel Future Revolution coming out? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I It's just, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. So anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to touch on with that. The One of the other things that I want to talk about is I got two moon uh, dragon offers in here. You know, I've got the $35 for the, you know, the nine orbs and I've got the 20 bucks for the five orbs. And I was trying to remember, I'm like, man, when was the last time I had two offers for a character at the same time? I feel like these things are normally drag, drug out a little bit further where it's like you get one for a few days, there's nothing, and then you get another one. I I don't, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, either in Discord or the comments below. I don't remember ever having the ability to have both of these two. I'm happy to be wrong because I will say that the fact that I'm not remembering that I've ever had two of these at the same time has got me gravely concerned about where we're at. You know, I had a video out there, I was talking about the final milking. A lot of the things I'm seeing are making me feel more like that. Delays in uh, responses, like just the fact that, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen. If they do do something where it's just like, yeah, let's just leave their old raid and just leave it as is. It's like, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know about that. But now, as far as the money aspect goes of this, look, th this one, while cheaper, is not as cheap per orb. So depending what you are only spend 20 bucks if that's all you got if you care more about efficiency and your dollar spent this one's like three dollars and 80 cents this one's like four bucks an orb or something like that so I, yeah buy this one if you care about saving 20 cents an orb I, I don't know if i'm gonna buy either um you know my moon dragon's doing okay but not you know huge so anyway so that again worries me a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on uh jump into um Actually, before I get here, so one of the things that it's just one salt to fest after another. So we've got this event, obviously, here where we're using um, Moon Dragon. We got Unity Orb, Strength, and Numbers Milestones. You you do Blitz and Arena using characters with a quirky trait, which is a whole nother Oprah. Like, really? Scope, we never did change that? Okay. Um, to score points, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Marvelous Alliance aligned. Work together with your alliance in raids using characters with a quirky trait. And that's the part I want to focus on a little bit. I mean, ultimately, it's about quirky stuff using uh, quirky traits using in different game modes. But this this raid one, which we're, we generally are used to, but now in Doom, you know, we've got the we've got the ISO restriction. So I'm like, all right. So I'm looking at my quirky characters. Let's see what I can actually do. And is this going to work, right? So, all right. So let's first talk about Doom. For me, I can do, um, I start with tech. I start with tech. So let's just click tech. Where's my tech? Where's my QRS T? All right. Nope. So I cannot use, I can use one character, Misty Knight. And I'll tell you what, in Doom 1-0, I don't think my Misty Knight's going to survive. I know she's not going to survive in 1.1. So, okay, scratch that. All right, so my next section. What is my next section? Um, tick, It's Mystic. All right, so my next section is Mystic. All right, what do I got here? Nope. Can't use any of them. None of them are ISO level 4. So, all right, that's done. You know, I might consider White Tiger ISO level 4, but what is she? She's a brawler. I don't know. I'm sure I've got other brawlers I need to bring up for um, actually using in the Doom Raid. On top of that, I am not... I don't have a plethora of ions to use. So, okay, nothing there. So, after Mystic, what do I got? I got Mutant. All right, so let's go to Mutant. All right, Jubilee. Yep, use Jubilee. Um, Wait, it's ISO level 5. So that's it. I've got one character I could use there. I could bring up Shatterstar to ISO level 5, which I actually might do for if I think I'm going to get Adam Warlock at 7 and if they don't walk any of that stuff back, I'm waiting for sure to see. Um, and even Multiple Man. But you know what? Can I beat the nodes with either of those? I typically use um, my Axeman all the way. Um, oh, oh, look, I do have Iceman. All right. Oh, and Kitty. Pr you know what? Let me step back a little bit. My, my, mutant, my mutant nodes, I get at least three. All right, so I've got Kitty Pride, Iceman, and Jubilee for uh, three. So three characters for two nodes. Um, when I get to the final boss node, I drop Kitty Pride and typically bring in um, 
uh, Mr. Sinister. So that is, uh, you know, a little different. So, all right, I get a little bit with my mutant. After that, like I mentioned, I am off to bio, which I don't really have much on. So I'm kind of like, all right, uh, actually, I need ISO level five. Nothing. I got n none of my characters do that. Now, maybe Yo-Yo might be, and Phi Lavelle, those two, I would say, are actually worthwhile. Maybe bring to ISO level five, but uh, Yo-Yo's falling off a little bit. Phi Lavelle. Okay, but I would also argue, like, don't spend that unless uh, you need it. You're there at bio where you need to, and or you don't need the ion somewhere else for what is she? Uh, protector for another uh, unlock of Adam Warlock. So be wise there, right? Now, I'm not getting past bio, but let's just look at what the next one I, I would have had would have been, which would be um, skill. So let's just see. Because, I mean, the truth is, is you guys all doing lanes in different. Oh, this is hilarious. So I've got, again, nobody I can use for skill. Now, if I was going to bring someone up, probably Gamora and Moondragon. Um, but so, you know, we just what I'm looking at here is not a lot of options right now. you also got Gamma going on. OK, so for me, um, the stuff that I can use, it, you can't specifically filter for all this stuff. But like, let's just look at Guardians. That's one I can use none uh well no actually i don't it's i know iso restrictions so i can use gamora right so on those first nodes in gamma um maybe i get some of these guardians in here or i could potentially do um my uh avengers with them which okay so maybe it's like all right what avengers are quirky so maybe um now and we're also doing gamma 4.2 now i don't you yeah i don't use any of those avengers normally but i think th i'm on the early node so it's probably fine but again we're doing gamma 4.2 if we were doing 4.3 forget about it so the next up that i've got is what is it kree uh wakanda pimtech so we're let's just click pimtech all right no i'm not using either of those two forget about it um after pimtech element no p uh, let's see. Let's do. Uh, is it Cree and Wakanda? Or closest to Wakanda. Um, all right. Killmonger. Nope. Not using him. All right. So get him off of there, and then use uh, the, the Cree, who I mostly use. Kit. There are no Cree quirkies. All right. So you literally get almost nothing there. We've already talked about the mutants, so we've seen that. So I'm not gonna rehash that. You know. And actually, it's not just mutants. It's. Uh, it's x-men uh, but you know if you look at the x-men you, you you're gonna have a good option there so you're going ahead and get those three again and which you should be using anyway and then after that again it's kree which we know we don't have anything uh and spider-verse is what i've got oh i want uh spider-verse let's do all and then go to quirky again and i'm just sitting here going like is this meant to still be in the game you guys if you keep putting restrictions on restrictions on restrictions and I'm not using either of those two, <laughs> two characters at all. So it's just like, all right, how much of this am I going to even be able to get from this quirky trade? I'm just like, I don't, I just, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't understand lots of problems after problems after problems, things that don't be thought through at all, at all. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm just salt, 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 more salt, more salt, more salt. Okay, you guys get it. Um, on that note, uh, you know, it's Zeke's is leaving, uh, Scopely, uh, that's been officially announced, uh, not going to get into why, what, where, whatever, but I do hear that it is a good opportunity for her. So I'm happy for her. I hope she's happy, uh, played among us with her quite a bit, uh, and always found her to be, um, a fun person to play that game with, uh, even when she was trolling and have a good time. So, uh, I think life needs a little bit more of that at times. So shout out to you, Zeke's, uh, appreciate you. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, we're going to finish off on a positive note. Um, what I want to talk about is uh, silver credits um, and the uh, the chance that these might actually not be a major bottleneck um, for you. So the way I've played silver bottle or silver promotion credits, as you can probably guess, is I'm very frugal with them. So um, and you can see I had 600 plus, right? So what I want to talk, and I've talked about this a little bit in stream lately, um, is that, so I'm only using, I would only use those for, you know, anything from, uh, four and up. Right. So when I was doing this on stream, I was like, you know, or I was like, why do you have so many? Why do you have so many? I'm like, I, you know, I'm just frugal with what I spend them on. I don't know. I don't want to spend them unless I know that one, I know I really want to upgrade the character Two, Is it going to take my character up to a level that's going to allow me to do something I'm not currently already doing? That's the biggest thing for me. If I already can do and achieve everything I need to, I will not promote something unless it's actually 
going to make something in the game easier for me. If I can do it with what I got, I'm going to save. You know why? Because every single time in this game, Scopely introduces something that makes it harder or you're going to need some resource or something that you originally weren't planning on. You go wide early, you will pay. And I mean that figuratively, or well, not figuratively, but like literally. It, 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 Krakens, they go wide. Guess what? They now need a bunch of materials to narrow or focus for Doom Raids. Guess what? Pay. Pay me to get there. Okay? So it's like for me... I don't go wide, so my payment is maybe not being able to push certain things as hard. But I'm like, okay, I'm I'm more semi-casual, semi-serious in this game. So it works. So anyway, Jubilee, that's a decent one that I could do. Shatterstar, okay. Even Night Nurse, Venom, all right, reasonable. Iron Fist, I would have definitely done had... Um, uh, uh, Heroes for Hire not lasted for less than a patch. Nebula, I'm definitely considering, given the fact that they might be an arena uh, meta or appear to be that. I would have considered Misty Knight, same reason I mentioned for uh, Iron Fist. White Tiger, I definitely consider for offense, but they're doing okay. I don't need them for, you know, we're not a serious, serious war allowance. Blob's not alliance. Uh, Blob's not too bad. I don't know if I'd do that. None of those. None of those, 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 and none of the ghosts. I made it through Dark Dimension with three red stars, so that was fine. Colleen Wing, same story with Iron Fist and Miss Unite. I would have upgraded her, but not anymore. Um, Moon Dragon, I'll probably do as well because I think that she's probably going to, um, like I said, be an arena, um, but none of the rest. And then, you know, Adam Warlock, depending on what I get in him. So it's like a handful of characters right so you know i go back to that store and it's kind of like all right i've got a handful of characters 650 let's just say there's you know three of them you know that i wanted to do that's uh you know 450 of those 650 credits and that's their five star so i save the other 200 and some 240 250 of them for my three to you know four upgrades and i'm okay that's a you know that's a you know three four more other characters that i could get there so i'm kind of like all right that that's actually not too bad and if i don't do it for you know four characters then i've i'm just keep building so i want to end up puzzling out saying i think that if you're wise with your silver promotion credits you will get to the point where the red star orbs aren't as big of a deal to get the character you need because you've saved the proper um silver promotion credits to use on them um also for gold i'm being stingy you can see my so there's a silver surfer on there at six most people would immediately grab that i am not um i actually have passed on kestrel twice in here as well to get to her to six stars because i'm just kind of like I can do what I need to do right now with a five red star kestrel. So why do I want to upgrade, right? So anyway, that's what I got for you today. I uh, hope this video helped in some way. I, I know there's a lot of salt in it. Um, I, I've mentioned trying to be you know more positive if I can, but I just try to say it how I feel it, and that's it. I mean, uh, no remorse. I uh, just share with you guys what my thoughts or feelings are, and you like it or you don't like it, right? But uh, hope I gave you some sort of entertainment and some sort of uh, information that maybe you didn't know. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. And like I mentioned, we're doing a giveaway. So comment below if you want to go ahead and get enrolled in that. Uh, hammer down that like button, click that notification bell, and also, like I mentioned, subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.